podcast like if you have like you know you have a one server and if you have a multiple users are there right that are sitting in your LAN network and they want to traffic right they want to stream okay it i think so i gave you so if they if the user wants to stream right uh from take example when we have a netflix server and they have a multiple user and if they want to uh, stream over there some movies are stream in that case what happened unicast and broadcast is not a feasible solution that's why the uh, the dennis or uh, the person the dennis name right they have introduced the multicasting concept right and uh, yesterday also we have seen like in a multicasting what happened by default the multicast is disabled on the router and such as well as right by default they cannot entertain the multicast packets right and also we have seen uh, in a uh, if you by default in a uh, normal what happened you know the Cisco router if you see the ping unicast packet right anything like uh, take example wonder 101 by default you will send the five packets in the unicasting if i say the ping 255.255.255.255 broadcast it will send the five packets right and if i'm going to the ping 224.0.0.9 or any 10 any multicast address by default just in the one packet right and how many reply you will get depend on the reply depend on the user how many users are sitting there right so multicast are a very good example of the multicast you know the tv channels are the multicasting concept right radio then we have a you know the whatsapp group whatsapp group is a good multicasting concept right all the netflix you are using amazon prime all this thing is that comes in the multicasting right they are not doing the broadcasting first of all right they are all doing the multicasting yesterday we have seen what is the issue with the broadcasting right because by default on the cisco router broadcast capability is disabled on the interface right if you're seeing This is not Right. So what multicasting will doing? They are joining the groups, right? So this is the multicast group for the EHRP, right? Take example on the router number one. And if you have a look on the router number one, right? If you see uh, show IP interface zero slash zero, you multi okay, sorry. Show IP interface interface zero slash zero, no sorry. Show IP interface. IP no, please allow me for the recording. I'm allowing one. If you see the by default, the broadcasting is just on the route, right? So that's never recommendation to enable the broadcasting, you know, because uh, that will not go for the network as well as because in late to segment, if you know that, right, we introduced the VLAN concept to just reduce the flooding, right? So you cannot flood the, you know, broadcast packet on the LAN side. That's why by default the direct broadcast is this one. You can enable this thing, but that's never never recommendation, right? Then also we have seen this part like uh, in multicasting, what happened? Uh, we have a two terms, not two terms because the, we can divide the multicasting in the two ways. When we have a LAN concept and when we have a WAN concept, right? In a LAN, we have a different communications, right? Like communication, we have different protocols, like we have IGMP. And in the van, we have a different protocols that we have a PIM and DBMRP. We have a MOS profiles, right? 
So this part we have discussed in last class. Okay. Now, try to understand one thing. As I told you that yesterday, this is the router, right? On this router, we have a multi uh, interfaces over there. Interface 0 slash 0, 0 slash 1. We have a 0 slash 2, and we have a 0 slash 3, right? 0 slash 0. We have a 0 slash 1. We have a 0 slash 2. We have a 0 slash 3. Right? And this guy has some rate 192.168.1.0 slash 24. This guy has some rate 192.168.4.0 slash 24. And this guy has some new 191.0.0 slash 24. And this guy has some new 191.0.3.0 slash 24. Right? So basically, in the routing table of R1, which one? So guys, uh, we have a connected or one I must one or zero slash twenty four that's associated with the you know zero slash zero. C one I must get two or zero slash twenty four. Slash twenty four. This guy is a zero slash two, and C one I must get three dot zero slash twenty four, and we have a zero slash one and C one I must get four or zero slash twenty four. Okay, and that is you know the zero slash three interface, right? So what happened basically? What router is actually doing? This router is maintaining this routing table. Try to understand this basic part, guys, because if this is it. Uh, if you understand this part, so you can easily troubleshoot the multicasting. So right now, this router maintain this routing table just because of what? Just because of the this command, IP router. And what this command is telling you, hey, unicast is enabled. And even if the router is receiving the broadcast packet, then I can entertain the broadcast packet as well, right? Entertain means what? I'm going to enter in, I'm not going to forward the broadcast packet just because the broadcast capability is disabled. And if you enable the broadcast capability, then I can forward the broadcast packet as well as, right? But not multicast, right? So in that case, what happened if the router is receiving one packet that has a source IP address, could be anything, right? Take example 101. And uh, the destination will be, I'm telling this person will be 2.1, right? So this is the source IP address and this is the destination IP address. When this packet is coming to the router, right, on which interface, on 0 slash 1 interface, right, the default behavior of the router, it look up the destination lookup, right? And according to my routing table, according to my routing table, I need to follow the packet on which interface. So router will follow the packet to the this guy. Right? This is how, because on this router, this command is enabled. And this command is telling you, hey, if, if packet is coming for the unicasting, I will follow the packet to the appropriate interface by just performing the distance on the code. All good. Now, the thing is that. Uh, uh, one second. No. I think the IP is the, the interfaces that you have mapped is correct. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. So zero slash one slash zero will be zero slash zero, uh, two slash zero will be zero slash two, and uh, it should be three zero or zero slash one and so zero slash one, right? So three. Okay. So they will follow the packet based on the resistance level, right? But what happened? Try to understand this part. If the router is receiving a multicast packet, right? The class D. The class D. That has a, any IP address, I can take a range from 226.101. Okay. When this packet is coming, that's our source IP address and distance and IP address, what router is going to do? The first of all, router will check hey, do we have a M route table? M route table is going to represent do we have a multicast routing table? Do we have a route for this person? 
destination no i don't have first of all i don't have a ability right this person is saying that hey i don't have a ability i don't have ability to forward the packet I don't have ability to forward the destination packet, the multicast packet. In that case, what happened? The router is silently dropped the packet, right? They will just silently drop the packet. But in case of in case of EHRP, what happened? If you remember that, when I'm going to enable the router one, router number two, take example, and router number three. or in any OSP as well as, right? Any routing provision if you take, router EHRP, if you go for the OSP, if you go for the RIP, anything, right? This guy's a 2 or one this guy's a 2 or two this guy's a 23 or two and this guy's a 24, 23 or three, right? And I'm going to run the EHRP on every router. Let's take example as the router EHRP number one, network 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Same command I need to put on the router number two as well as, Done and same when I'm going to put on the router number three as well, right? This interface belong to the zero slash zero. This interface zero slash one. This interface zero slash zero. This interface zero slash one. After enabling the EHGRP, what happened? The router will send the hello packet, right? From this interface. And this hello packet is also a what? Multicast. This hello packet is also a multicast. Now, what I told you that by default, multicast is disabled on router, right? This part I told you by default multicast is disabled on the router. So if the multicast is disabled on the router, and right now this router number one is sending this packet that has a source IP address will be 2.1, right? That has a source IP address will be 2.1. And distance will be 224.0.0.0.10. How does the router is posting this packet? Hey guys, try to understand this part. When this person is sending this packet to the router number two, right? Router number two is receiving this packet on this particular interface, right? Router number two is receiving this packet on this particular interface, but they are not going to forward the packet from this interface to the this interface. What is the meaning of routing? The term of routing is saying that, try to understand this term, right, routing. The term of routing is saying that, hey, if I want to receive the packet from this interface, right, after that, I'm going to perform the lookup. And after that, after performing the lookup, what happened? I need to forward the packet to the next interface, right? That's the meaning of routing. But here, what happened? This multicast address, I'm sending the packet to the R2. It will receive on the zero slash one interface. They will process it, but they are not following the packet to the this guy. Same thing is happening from this side. When R3 sending the hello packet to the R2, right? Any hello packet, EHGRP, OSP, right? What they are doing? By default, multicast is visible on the router, right? R2 will receive it, process it on this interface, check the uh, neighborship criteria. And that's it nothing else and they will just refresh the hold on time am i forward the packet from this interface to this interface no we are not doing and you know why this thing is happening just because of this two range right This two range of the class D is not routable address like your RFC 1918. RFC 980, what's saying that? Private IP address is not routable, right? 
but still you can doubt it i'm just taking one example making a reference point that's it but this two range of the class d is not routable that is defined by the i know except this one whatever the range you are going to use right whatever the range you are going to use all that will be a routable you want me to also with all the range they have Multicasting. Same example yesterday we have seen, right? So if you're going to use the unicast packet, we have a separate unicast packet one, two, and three, and they are going to use the separate bandwidth, right? That unicast method require the the video of application, right? Send one copy of each packet to the every group, right? That's never a good solution. If you have multiple users, in that case, not possible, right? You need to require the more bandwidth. Then again, the broadcast that again not possible solution, right? And they came with the unicast mechanism. Sorry, multicast mechanism. Can you see this part? The INR, right, has assigned the class D IP address to the multicasting applications, right? The first four bit of the first octet of class D, that is going to depend on the class D range, like, you know, the uh, 0 for depends on the class A, then uh, 1 0 is going to be the class B, 1 1 0 is going to depend on the class C, and 1 1 1 0 is depend on the class D, right? The representation of the classes, the first bit, second bit, right, and third bit, and the fourth bit. The range of the IP multicasting is here from here, right? That we have seen yesterday, right? 24.0.0 to the 239.255.255.255. Now, if you see, from this range, 24.0.0.0.0, and this guy, right? This two address is not routable. The permanent multicast group that will be not route. That is reserved for the some application, right? The INA has reserved the two range of the permanent multicast address. That's two range. This is the two range. Can you see that this part? The main distinction between the this two range of the address is the first range of the use for the packet that should not be forwarded by the I cannot forward the packet because all this range, right? Two to four or zero or zero or zero or zero five is zero for those five and six is zero for the what? OSPF. Two to four or zero or zero or zero or zero or zero, right? Nine is zero for the rip. 2 to 4 or 0 or 0 or 0 10 is real for the EHRP and many more things, right? Even 2 to 4 dot, uh, 0 dot 1 dot 39 and 2 to 4 dot 0 dot, sorry, 1 dot 40, right? This is going to be for the some PIM protocol, right? RP, I'll let you know this thing, don't worry. But this address are not routable. That's why for this two person, no need to require the this command because i'm not routing this packet right the what is the meaning of this term routing the meaning of this term routing is what 
I need to route the packet. But am I routing the packet of EHERP? No, I'm receiving it, processing it. That's it. I'm not putting the, uh, I'm not transferring the packet from one interface to the another interface. That's why for the EHERP, for the OSPF, for RAPE, all the multicasting, we don't need to require this guy. The range. Should be some what familiar from the routing protocol. That is like a 224056 for the OSPF that fits in the permanent range. Braza 224.0.0.1 for the reason for the host. I'll let you know where, where, where I can use this part, 224.0.0.1, whereas 224.0.0.2 is there for the all multicast capable routers. Except this guy, right? The another permanent range group we have that I told you that this run, uh, they include the 224.0.139 and 40. This guy, 224.0.139 and 1.40. That is going to reserve for the Cisco RP, right? I'll let you know what is the auto RP, don't worry about that. Except this one. Now I can use everything. See, these are my permanent group. Dot one, dot two, all multicast hosts, router, DBMRP, all OSP router, six for the designated router, DR, RIP version two, EHERP, PIM router, IGMP version three, RGMP, Cisco RP, RP discovery. This is not a complete range, man. Except this one, many things are there. Except this one, this many things are, these are the my well-known reserve multicast, these are the reserve one. Except this one, you can use anything. Only these two guys, right? That is not round table. 1.39, I'm going to use for the 39 and 224.0.1.40. That is I'm going to use for the auto RP, right? A Cisco ready protocol. I'll let you know what is the use of this person. Right? In this range, what happened to the four or zero five six for the OSPF, right? Then, like how two to four or zero zero ten for the EHRP two to four zero zero ten, uh, like a nine for the dip. Same how we have a two to four or zero one uh, zero dot one is uh, for the host. And 224.0.2 is for the router. We'll see that in just a few minutes. What is the use of this guy? But already you know this part, right? You know the, this part. You know the, this part, right? So this address so, are not router, yes. So does that mean that I can use 224.0.0.20 as a, this thing? I can use it or? No, no, no. As I told you that this range are Complete range oh. is there. No? Okay, 0, 0, 0, 0.0.0 slash. You, you cannot use this guy. 224.0.0. from till 255, right? You cannot use it. You cannot use the 224.0.1.25. Except this one, you can use anything from here. Because in multicasting, what happened? Try to understand this part. This is also logical a little bit. So you can use 224.0.2.0, is it? Yeah, you can use it if you want. In a multicast, no, is, what happened? Is it slash 16 slash 24? I'm, I'm not understanding there. So what is slash 16? Is it? I have I didn't read the slash 16 anywhere. No, no. 224.0.0.0 slash. I mean, like I can use the second subnet or the third subnet. I cannot, did I, I cannot did use. I, did I, did I use submit mask information over there? No, you didn't. So that's why I'm getting confused. That, just wait for a minute. I haven't used the submit mask information. Wait for a minute. 
class D does not have a submit master information. You cannot do the submitting for the class D. There's no submitting for the class D. Like you, you know the class A, class B, and class D. You can do the submitting, right? That's why we have a submit asking from the one. There's no, you cannot do the class D because here, what happened? Here, one IP, one IP, single IP, right? That is like take example of anything. I go for the two two six dot one dot one one. Single IP is going to represent. one group one group in the sense of what for example this server right this is the amazon server this is the netflix server and this is the hotstar server right i've assigned this particular uh, ip 226.101 this guy has signed dot 226.102 and 226.1103 Reposing the complete group. Group means what? Now try to understand whatever the user are sitting over there, right? Whatever the user, right? They can access all this person based on the single IP. A huge range you have in the class D, huge range. For this person, I can use the, some uh, person we have a multiple thousands of the user we have and all these thousands of the user what happened they can access this guy and what are the thousands of the user we have they can access this guy so multicast ip right i'm not assigning to the host not even i'm assigning To the interface of router. This multicast IP is always going to assign to the server. So that's why there's no kind of submitting will happen for this person, right? There's no kind of submitting will happen for this person. Hello, one question here. So now imagine like you've defined these three servers, right? Amazon, Netflix, and uh, probably Hotstar, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so now if there are, uh, there is one user or probably there are a group of users who want to access all of these three servers. You so then access how, it. I'll then show you that. You don't, don't, worry, don't worry about that. I'll show you. Okay, okay. I'll show you that part. But this point is clear, all of you guys, Devinder, Ron, and uh, Swami, Mahendar, Friend, everyone. This point is clear, like this, uh, why the EHRP, like uh, the multicasting is still disabled and why the EHRP is, uh, is uh, forwarding the multicast packet. Yeah. Anyone has a question this part? No, clear. Huh? As you are saying, if there is a no submit mask, but we de de we defined the range, this range to this range, that will come false under class D. So they're supposed class B. to be class D, sorry. Okay. So, Without mask, how we can define the range? Now, which range you are going to define? Tell me. Like uh, you are saying, it twenty four dot zero 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 to two thirty nine. It's a it's a class D address. So mm -hmm. they are they are supposed to be some your slash eight slash ten something. No. Yeah, something that you can do. Like for example. If you not do the some kind of filtering that also in the routing protocol, it's not routing protocol in the PIM routing protocol, like uh, we have some scenario, like if you not do the filtering, right? You, in that case, you need to use the submit mask information, right? But logically, right? Logically, there is no submit mask information for the class D. They, you cannot do the submitting for that one. But yeah, it's not like that. We cannot assign it. We can assign. Listen, I can assign this guy. Okay, two two four dot. 0, 0, 0, slash 16, I can assign it, this guy, right? I can assign the 224 one for example, 226.101. I can filter this guy to the slash 24. I can do that. I'll show you this thing in the routing protocols, right? No need to worry about that. 
I'll show you how you can, which subnet you are going to use over there, right? But logically, like right, logically what happened, this guy does not have the subnet mask information. That's why we cannot do the submitting because here one IP, can you imagine one IP is going to deposit a complete group. So why do we need of submit mask information over there? Why do we need to do the submitting? What is the need of submitting? The need of submitting is what? To make a different, different subnets over there, right? A big network is going to divide in the smaller, small network. That's the meaning of submitting. But am I doing the submitting? Uh, am I doing? Uh, am I dividing the subnets over there? Am I dividing the groups over there? No. Here, a single IP is representing the group. So why do we need of submitting over there? You are getting this point? Yeah, it's clear. Now, so this is how, like, you know, the multicasting, right? Uh, by default, it's disabled, but still they can forward the packet just because of the this guy. Aina has resolved permanent group. And only these two range are positive in the permanent group, this range and this range. That can be sent, process it, but it cannot forward to the another domain. Whereas, take example, if this uh, destination IP is coming, right? 224.0.0.10, right? And uh, here, multicast routing is enabled. Take example. Here, multicast routing is enabled, right? So what happened? R1 can send this packet to the R2. R2 cannot send the same packet to the another guy, but at the same time, I'm receiving one packet. R1 can send this packet to the R2, right? R2 will receive this packet on this interface. They will look up the M route table. And based on the M route table, what happened? They will forward the packet to the, the different domain. Same way. Same way, what happened? R3 will receive it, and R3 multicast routing is enabled. What happened? They can forward the packet to the another guy. But what happened on R5? I haven't enabled the multicast routing. I haven't enabled the multicast routing. What R5 will do? After receiving it, it will look up the M route table. Do we have M route table? No, it will drop it. Because this range is route table. This range is route table. So guys, here you have to understand this part. If you're not going to enable the multicast routing, the router will never process your packet. They will only process your routing because they don't have an M route table. So for this purpose, you need to enable the this command. All cool? Take me space. Okay. So guys, uh, as I told you that uh, we have about two taps on you. The multicast we can divide in the two taps. One we can divide in the LAN and one we can divide in the WAN. First, we need to understand how LAN communication is happening. How the LAN communication will happen. How does user will get the idea and how, the, how does user will inform to the router, hey, I need a multicast stream. Now getting this point, I first of all go on the router side, just take an example of one diagram you need to draw. And I'll make this guy as a one server, not one router is there, okay. And uh, we have a switch. We have some host over there. All good. So router is connected to the switch. Switch is have a connectivity to the PC. Switch has connected to the PC. Switch has connected to the PC. And switch has connected to the PC, right? And uh, 
we have PC number one, we have PC number two, we have PC number three, and we have PC number four, right? I'm just going to give the IP address of this person. So this guy has IP address will be 1101. This guy's IP will be 1102. This guy's IP will be 1103. A unicast IP addressing I'm defining over there, 1104. This is the router and this interface have a IP address 1100. So they also have a default gateway. So the default gateway is set to the 100, right? On all PC. Switch and try to understand. Okay, so this router and this router has a connection with the ISP and then ISP has a connection with the server, right? So this is how the things are working. Okay, and this server has a multicast with 226.1. You can use any number, sorry, uh, any IP. I'm just going to use the 226.1. Try to understand right now. On this particular router, nothing is enabled. No multicasting routing, no IGMP, no PIM, nothing. All they have a thing is that this IP is 12.1, right? This is the unicast IP address, right? This is the unicast IP. Okay, this is the multicast. All this right now we have thing only that all this user, right? All this user have a good reachability with the server. I'm talking about the unicast reachability. All they have a good reachability with the server. Like same MPLS VPN concept or like a DMVPN concept, you need to have a unicast reachability, right? Same thing. I have a unicast reachability between this PC to the, the server. Now try to understand this PC said that, hey, I want to receive multicast stream. I want to receive multicast stream. In that case, what happened? First of all, first of all, on the PC side, right? On the PC side, you need to install the application, right? Application in the sense of one software, multicast software. And on the multicast software, what happened? You will get a one box over there, right? Like this. And in this multicast uh, box, what happened? You need to put the multicast IP address. Which group you want to join? I say that 226.1. I want to join the, this group. 226.1.1. This is how the normal users are doing. On the router side, how you will do? On the router side, you need to go on the particular interface. Right? And I say that IP means what I'm going to do for the IPv4, right? I'm going to do for the IP before I need to say, hey, I want to join the group. So what happened as I told you that on this thing, right? Till this point, here to here. This is a WAN, right? For the WAN, I'm going to use any of the protocol. Either I can use the PIM, either I can go for the DBMRP, or either I can go for the MOSPF, right? Okay, for this side, I'm going to run the IGMP. Okay, so what happened on the Cisco router? On this normal client, what happened? You just need to install the application, right? That is given by the network admin. Okay, and you just need to put the IP address of the, so like which app, like which server you want to listen, right? So I just put the 226.1. It depends on the requirement. In Cisco CLI, how you will do that? And in examinations as well as how you will do that? You just need to go on the interface 0 slash 0 on the router side. Because on the uh, Cisco exam, what happened? You don't have a PCs over there. You will have a routers. So IP, IGMP, because I need to enable the IGMP. And I said that join group. Which group you want to join? 226.6.1. I need to join this group. But before I'm going to join this group, what happened? Right Before I'm going to join this group, before I'm going to put this command on this particular interface, what happened? I need to enable, right? I need to enable IGMP on this particular interface. I need to enable IGMP on this particular interface. Because this protocol is going to provide the 
land communication land communication in the sense of what this protocol is going to helps to to provide the communication between the pc to the gateway the reason why this protocol is going to use in the land side because this guy has a ttl field is one this guy has a ttl field one This guy has also a TTL field one. So, in, so what happened when this person is going to send any IGMP packets to this guy, right? What happened? R1 will receive on this particular interface. They will never produce this packet to the. So basically, what IGMP allow you? IGMP stand for Internet Group Management Protocol, right? As the name says, this group, right? Group means what? A multicast group is talking about, right? IGMP is rail-free protocol. It has a detail one, and that's why we are using online side. It has a three version. Version one. Version two. And version two. Version two. It's a default version on all Cisco CLI. Version three. We are using for the some security reason. I'll let you know what are the security reason in this guy. And version one. Legacy. IGMP allow is used to provide EC2 gateway router communication. Communications. So based on that, you see will inform to the gateway router. Hey, I need multicast system. And or we can see gateway router will ask to client, hey, do you need a multicast system? So this IGMP has some work. But by default, IGMP is disabled on interface. One of the weekends, not auto weekends. And you're going to enable the IGMP for interfaces. So, guys, what happened? This portion, right? I'm going to just run the IGP. Right now, you just need to focus on this part. No need to focus on this part. Right? Forget it. Forget this guy. For next two days, right? Next two to three days, we just need to focus on the IGMP. IGMP, CGMP, how the switches is going to do the 
multi how the switches is going to learn the mac address of the multicasting everything you have to focus on this part right take example if you see right now you show ip igmp interface i ha i don't have a igmp this was a IGMP is disabled. By default, it's disabled. I'm just going to use all this guy as a client, right? All these persons as my clients. So R5 is also there, R4. IP 104, 103, 102, right? And uh, just 101. All perfect, right? Cool. So I'm going to use all this as a host. Chin symbol and uh, Client. All cool. And uh, this is my gateway daughter. So this guy has a connectivity with the ISP, right? Try, try to send this to the server right now. Okay. Because right now I'm not going to draw, I'm not going to make a big topology. Try to understand the IGMP part. Then we'll go for the server side and uh, we'll see that how the ISP is connected with the routers and everything, right? So let me do one thing. Let me provide the basic configuration of IP addressing on every router. That's the very basic things that you need, right? So IP interface would be, I don't have interface, interface zero slash zero, IP address will be one on one of five, right? No setup. Save this configuration, do not work, R1. Interface zero, interface zero slash zero, IP address will be 1111 slash 8 no R2, interface zero slash zero, 1112, no sodom. Do not say this configuration. R3, interface zero slash zero, IP address will be 1113 slash 8 no sodom. Do not say this configuration. R4, interface 0 slash 0, interface 0 slash 0, IP address will be 1, 2, 1, 2, save this configuration. R5 done, and R1, save this configuration. R2, save this configuration. R3, save this configuration. All done. <clears throat> so if you just go to the client side, any of the client, right, do ping, I have a utility with my gateway, right? And I do have a utility with my gateway as well as with the one over one. So you have a proper utility of the unicast. If you don't have a unicast utility, the multicast will be not work. All done and doping. Everything is good. On a R1 side, what happened? I just need to go on the interface, right? This interface, I'm going to enable the IGMP. How do I enable the IGMP? No. To enable IGMP on an interface, we need to use IP PIM dance mode, or either you can use or IP PIM sparse mode because. There is no separate command, right? Individual command. Enable IGP. If you enable PIM on interface at the same time, 
IGMP will be enabled. So once I'm going to put this configuration right, any of the I, other you can use the IPBM does mode. As I told you that PIM has a two modes, right? So any of the modes you can use it. PIM has a two flavor. What is PIM? Don't worry about that. Okay, we have a separate lecture on this part. That says what is mode. IGMP, sir? IGMP is internet. What what is IGMP? IGMP is a protocol that I'm going to use for the LAN communications between the gateway okay. and PC. This part. Okay. But this is only used in the LAN side, right? What you said? Only used in the LAN side, not on the WAN side. The TTLA here is good. Okay. okay. And this protocol is not going to exchange the any unicast routing, uh, like, you know, the uh, routing table. This guy is not going to exchange the any routing table, nothing. Exchange ni karega, but it will be able to process that packet, correct? Only, only the process of the packet. Only the he will inform. It is something like that, right? PC router, right? PC ko multicast system chahiye If the PC wants a multicast system, how they will inform to the router? PC say that hey, I want a multicast stream for the Netflix. How they will inform to the router? I need a multicast system. They will help the. They will use the. IGMP but R1, will it uh, add that host in that multicast group to receive that? Oh, sorry, can you repeat it again? So now imagine there is a Netflix server on 226.1.1, right? Mm -hmm. And and the client is imagine um, some other random. Right item. now, right now, what I'm assuming this router is receiving a multicast stream from the Netflix, Hotstar, Amazon Prime, everything. Right. R1 is no each and everything. Client does Correct. not know. Correct. So now when when a client of imagine 1.1.1.1 is asking for a, uh, uh, you know, multicast, multicast, stream, multicast stream, right? Correct. For 226.1.1. Yeah. So will R1 add 1.1 in that particular Exactly. Group? Right, 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 right. They, so he's asking to this person, and R1 will give once RPC is asking to the R1, R1 will give the multicast system to the this guy. And now this person will get the traffic. Huh, but R1 will it add that IP in that group? Which group we are talking about? In the 226.1.1. That 226.1.1 uh -huh, is supposed to I'll show you each and everything. Okay. No, because I'm not understanding what is R1 processing there. R1 is not forwarding the pack. R1 is not doing Ajay, routing, but... simple logic. One minute. Two one there. Is there a bathroom? Which language they will use? Any of the language? Yeah. Any of the language? Yeah. Take example. If they don't know any language, how they will communicate? Is there any connection between this guy to this guy? A and B? They don't know any language. No. Yes. No. No. no, no same company. thing. Okay. PC and router. They know class A, class B, and class C language, right? The IP address of the interest. But if this person want a multicast system for this person, how they will know? How they will communicate to each other? Hmm. I need something else. You need something. Then carry this information and to inform this out, hey, someone is requesting for this group multicasting. But R1 has got to inform that to the Netflix server or that particular server, right? So they that already have, is... yeah, yeah. They they already informed that. They already informed that. They, this guy already know each and everything. That's why I'm telling you okay, we have a WAN communication and we have a LAN communication in the multicasting. Right now we are focusing on the LAN. Once we understand the LAN, then we'll go for the WAN communications. So that R1 to the Netflix server will be the WAN communication, right? Yeah, exactly right. 100% right. R1 has a, it is something like that. One minute. Take another. This is the server, right? 
this router, this router, this router, this router, and this router. Okay, we have some user over there. User, 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 user. So this is how connectivity we have, right? So these are the ISPs, right? Okay, and uh, then we have a connectivity like this. Then we have connectivity like this, 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 like this. So this is a Netflix server. Right, this is got one one. At the same time, this guy has a Amazon server. That is 226.02. At the same time, this guy has a hot start. That is 227.101. Right. So, what happened? All this guy has a connectivity to the starter, right? So, right now, right now, try to understand the traffic flow is server is sending this packet, right? The Netflix server is sending this stream to the router. Router will send this stream to the ISP. ISP will send this stream to the router. This guy also sent to the, this guy. Okay, this guy also sent to this guy, and they will also extend the information like this. So, can you see that router has a complete information? Because here, what happened? I have run the multicast routing protocol. Right? I have run the multicast routing protocol. How does this PC know that? How does this PC inform to the router? Hey. I need a multicast system. This guy know everything, right? But router by default is not sending. This router is not sending the multicast system to the in LAN segment. Because I just enable the multicasting on this interface, on this interface, not to the LAN interface, right? I've enabled the multicasting on this interface, on this interface, not LAN interface. So if I'm not going to enable the multicasting on the LAN interface, how does they will know that? Now you're getting this point. Right, right. So on the on the segment that is connected to the router towards the LAN side, multicasting has to be enabled, correct? Yeah. So right now the router is able to communicate, right? Router, this router and this router is able to communicate with the multicasting, these two routers. Because I have enabled the multicasting on these two interfaces, right? Whatever the PC and this router, this interface, the LAN side. The LAN side is working fine. The LAN side is not, no, we don't have any protocol. So to introduce, right, to like, you know, to avoid this problem, like uh, the PC can communicate with the router, we have introduced the IGN. And only one protocol we have. VLAN 80.1Q spanning tree protocol. This is the loop premise layer 2 protocol, right? BTP. LAN protocol was there. But the thing is that AJ.1Q VTP is like, you know, that protocol is a layer two protocol, but it's a layer three protocol because the router is processing this packet. Mm -hmm. Not clear? Yes, look, yeah. Now try to understand after enabling the IGMP on this particular server, what's the command I'm going to use? IPP in desk mode or sparse mode because this command is going to enable the IGMP because there is no separate command to enable the IGMP. Like uh, I, I can use the IP, IGMP interface 0 slash 0 and IP, IGMP. There's no command like this. You have to take a help of the PIM. The PIM, this command is going to enable the PIM at the same time. This command is going to enable the IGMP as well. Same command is going to enable the PIM and same command is going to enable the IGMP. Enable PIM and enable IGMP. So guys, try to understand this part. Once I'm going to enable, right, you can see I said that IP PIM dense one on this particular interface, right? Tent. What this message is giving you? Try to understand this is the warning message. This is not an error message, just a warning message. The difference error message and warning message means what? Error message means what? You can't enable 
dance mode on the particular interface, right? You can't enable the IGMP. Warning is what? Hey, you have to enable the IP multicasting routing. They are just telling you. Otherwise, I can't forward the multicast packet. So for the better practice, enable it. If you're not going to enable it, IGMP will work. If you're not going to enable it, IGMP will be work. So if you now see do show IP interface, do show IP IGMP interface 0 slash 0, my IGMP has enabled, right? And which version I'm running over there? Die by default. By default, I'm running with the IGMP version 2. I can change it. I say that, okay, interface 0 slash 0, IP, IGMP version 1. Now, Once I enable the IGMP on this particular interface, what happened? Once I enable the IGMP on this particular interface, what happened? Now the router is asking, right? Hey, Is there anyone that wants to multicast a stream? He's asking, is there anyone that wants a multicast a stream? Right now, there is no user. And this guy is going to send the which packet? Query packet. Which packet I'm going to send? Curie packet. Hey, is there anyone? This information I'm going to ask. Hey, is there anyone that wants to receive a multicast stream? I'm going to send the Curie packet. This is the Curie packet that router one is sending at every 60 seconds. Hey, I'm asking to you. Hey, anybody wants a multicast stream? Anybody? Right now, there is no user. There is no user. There is no user. Again, after 60 seconds, they will ask, hey, anybody wants to receive a multicast system? No user. Again, after 60 seconds, hey, anybody wants to receive a multicast system? Nobody. See? No, it's fine. Uh, I don't know. Did you see this part? Did you see this router? What router one is doing? Router one is sending the query packet, right? I'm just asking, right? Hey, is there anybody that wants to receive a multicast stream, right? One minute, let me do one thing. I'll open the capture and uh, I'll paste it over there. Okay. 
So what the router one is doing, the router one is in the query packet, right? From this interface, you can see the source IP address is 101. And what is the distance on IP address? That's 224.0.0.01, right? That is going to reserve the all host IP address. Two two four zero zero two. That is going to represent that all dot. I'm asking anybody is listening to or receive the multicast stream. Now try to understand one thing over there. This is a little bit interesting concept. I'm sending a packet that has a source MAC address of this interface, taking a C201. Distance MAC will be multicast MAC address. Okay. Source IP will be 101 and distance IP will be what? 224.0.01, right? That's going to represent all host. Protocol number will be what? One. IGMP is works on the which protocol? Two. And then after that, I'm going to send the IGMP packets. Then after that, I'm going to send the IGMP packets. But in this IGMP packet, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put the multicast address is what? Which packet is this? Why I'm putting this multicast address 0 or 0 or 0 or 0? Because this router does not know Right, right now, this router does not know this guy is belong to the which group. This guy is going to belong to which group. This guy is going to belong to which group, and this guy is going to belong to which group. I'm asking, hey, anybody wants a multicast stream? Let me know, because maybe this guy is going to belong to the two two six dot one. Maybe this guy is going to belong to two two six dot one one two. Maybe two two seven dot one 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 and two two eight dot one one one. And maybe the same guy is going to belong to the two two different group 226.1101 and 227.1101 because one PC can attend, right? Can join multiple group as well as. A one PC can join the multiple group as well as. I'm just asking, hey, anybody wants to receive a multicast stream? That's why I'm putting the 0 0 0 0 0. This is the reason. And which packet I'm going to use? Curie packet, right? Version one. My all IGMP packet. Encapsulate. With IP protocol. IGMP works on IP. Protocol number. See, at every 60 second, I'm sending the IGMP packets. Ignore this massa right now, the 41. Ignore the 40. This is used for the, uh, the RP1. That is coming in the WAN protocol. Because the IP PIM dense mode and as far as the same command is going to enable the PIM as well as and the IGMP as well as. So you know this 40. I'm sending this packet, right? 22401, that's a uh, distance and IP address source will be what? 101. Always
right now there's no user right so let's go on our router number two and what i'm going to do i said interface zero slash zero right i just go on our router number two that's the interface zero slash zero this guy right i said ip igmp version one first change the version right because by default version two will be enabled as the ip igmp join group which group i want to join which packet i'm going to send now i'm going to send the reboot i'm going to send the report packet report means what i'm reporting to you right i'm reporting to my gateway router by using igmp protocol hey i need a multicast stream I need a multicast stream. Which packet I'm going to send? Report packet. Hey, I'm reporting to you. Give me the multicast stream, right? For which group I'm asking? Dot one, right? So if you see, report packet, not this one. For which group I'm asking? Source will be one one two. That's a this IP, right? User IP address. Destination what I'm going to put two two six dot one one, right? Because I'm going to report. Hey, I need a multicast stream for which person? This guy, right? TTL one IGMP protocol number two. Which packet is this? What multicast address I'm going to use? I need a stream, right? So now, if you see over there, let's do one thing. Make a screen capture. Can you see the difference little bit that QD packet I'm going to send? And in this case, multicast address, I'm going to put the zero, George zero because the router does not know. And this packet is sent by whom? Uh, the first packet is sent by R1, right? That one? Of course. The first. Of course. There is a curious curious means what I'm asking. That's the meaning of curious, right? I'm asking to you. Do you need a multicast stream? Route client said that yes, I need a multicast stream. For which group? Which packet? Reporting. I'm reporting. Hey, I need a multicast stream for this particular. This packet is sent by. EC2 router. This packet sent by router to PC. So, but the source and destination is source is 1.2 and destination is 2.26. So, I thought when when the report is sent, it will be sent to the router, right? Router IP address is 1.1.1.1. Why they will set the 1.1.1? Tell me. Any because reason. that's that's the router IP address, right? Two twenty six. Tell me one thing. Uh, tell me, uh, okay, uh, I'll I'll give you the answer. This guy is if this guy will send a packet, right? Uh, you know the report packet. Source will be what? Two. Destination will be what? One one. First of all. I'm doing the multicasting, not the unicasting. The first reason. Second reason. 
if this guy is in the report packet with R1, how does R1 will know which group they want to receive the multicast stream? Which group they want to receive multicast stream? I thought R1 will have connectivity to all those uh, IGMP. But how does, the how does R1 know that the client want a multicast stream for the 226? Because R1 has a 226.1, right? Take example, this group they have in the M route table. So they have an M route table. In this M route table, they have this route. They have this route. They have this route. And they have this route. How does R1 will know that client is requesting for which group? Uh, they're, they're sending that IGMP join uh, group message, right? To R1. Uh, did, I, uh, did I discuss the IGMP join? That's a coming in the different thing. IGMP okay, join okay. is something. That's a totally different thing. Okay, so what, what is R2 sending? Um, they're, R2 they're sending, sending report packet. No, but uh, they they said that they want multicast packets for uh, multicast stream for 226.1.1.1.1, right? Yes, what right. did you add there? I just uh, add join group for the 226.1.1. That is correct. Yeah, so this, or multi, yeah. Uh -huh, this is what I'm saying. So they are sending this message to R1, right? IPI right. join group. So, he, so uh, the, cli the client is saying, R2 is saying, hey, I need a multicast stream for this particular group. I need a multicast stream for this particular group. So what happened? They will put the destination IP address is 226.1.1.1.1.1, right? Not the so router IP address. Because if I'm going to put the router IP address, how does router will know that? For which group they are requesting? I thought R1 will act as a redirection to basically all of these groups. Oh, one minute. One minute. You are opening a TV channels, right? Okay. And you will get the Netflix. You want to receive a Netflix. So what happened? Daughter will send the Amazon Prime, Hotstar, everything to you. No, right? How they will send all the redacts and will happen? They cannot redact all the traffic to this guy, right? Because you are requesting for the special person, not for the all person. Okay. You are getting okay, this so, point. Yes, yes. So you will directly join that multicast group. Yeah. I'm directly joining the multicast. I'm not asking to the router, hey, whatever the things you have, just send me everything. No, I'm not telling to this one. I'm telling to this one, whatever I want, a, I want a stream for this person. Do you have? Then send me. If you don't have, leave it. Okay, okay, got it. Same thing, what happened? The router number three, if you see on the router three, I'm going to use the command debug IP IGMP. And I'm going to say that on router three. Hey, I also want to receive the multicast stream. IP IGMP join the first in the version. Yep. Not compulsory, like you know, something is or like you know, you do have to provide the compatibility. If you're not going to provide the compatibility, it will still work. The, then I will discuss that thing later on, not now. Okay. Version one uh, has a compatibility with version two as well as right. But I'm just making a very simple right now, just for the version one, version one right now. Then we'll discuss the version one and version two, version two and version one as well as. What happened? I'm going to send which packet on which multicast address. Right. If you go on a router one, debug IP IGMP, and he's receiving the packet. Go on R4 as well as debug IP IGMP, interface zero slash zero, IP IGMP, version one. And I said, that, uh, now I'm going to join the different group. I said, hey, I want to join the 226.102. I'm sending the report packet for which particular person. R1 will receive it. See? R1 is receiving the packet from 1014 for which group? Right? Go to R5. And let's say that inter IP IGMP do debug IP IGMP. And I see that IP IGMP version one, IP IGMP. I want to join the group for this guy to do a dot one. I will send the report packet for this particular group, right? And R1 will receive the report packet for this particular group. So can you see R3 is asking for this person? Right, 
two two six dot one. R four is asking for this person. One or two, and R five is asking for which group? Is that R five is asking for this group? Different, different people, different, different join the group, right? So anybody that has got that IP PIM dense mode configured, mm -hmm. that will receive those packets, correct? Right. Okay. That is going to enable the IGMP protocol, right? That's command is going to enable that. There is no separate command okay, on the interface. I said, okay, I need to enable the IGMP over there, right? IG, IP, IGMP, and something, something. No. Uh, each version has a different different RFC. If you go through the RFC as well as I'll show you the RFC one minute. IGMP version one. Can I get the RFC of this question? Yep. No, RFC is version two, and that's not a big deal. So what this uh, guy saying at IGMP program, use IP host to report their multicast group membership router. Hey, I need a multicast system, right? And to enable the IGMP, I'll show you. Okay, this is the IGMP version two. IGMP version one is not there. Maybe the IGMP version but I need to look for that one. So let's see. So you find him. Enable IGMP. It's not saying that, that pin command. You have to go for the pin RFC. You have to go for the PIM RFC to check that one. This guy is not seeing the PIM, it's only for the IGMP. So there's no command to enable the IGMP. You have to enable the PIM over there. Huh, you can change the, you know, you can change the version by using the IP IGMP version. This command, you can use it to change the version. One, if you want to put the two, you can put the two, three, you can put the three, but to enable IGMP, you have to use the IPP dense mode. Either you can use, or either you can use the IPP sparse mode. So just enable the IGMP. So now, right now, all this user is receiving the multicast stream, right? All this user, all this user is receiving the multicast stream from the router. This is how the IGMP version one is going to do. But do you know what is the issue with the IGMP version one? There is no mechanism. There is a mechanism to inform my router, right? Hey, I need a multicast stream. But there is no mechanism to inform my router. I'm talking about according to the perspective of client. I'm talking about according to the perspective of client, right? So there is no mechanism to inform my router. I don't want to listen the medical system. This is the issue. For example, this guy is not wants to receive the multicast system for which group? You know what happened? This guy keeps sending the report packet. Which is a bandwidth? No, there is no kind of leap mechanism. 
this client actually client the, the, the report packet is sent by the client to the router right right client to the router. Okay. okay what i put over there report no arrow was okay sorry मल्टीकास्टिंग Yeah, he keep receiving. He keep sending the query packet. But in the query packet, what will be the multicast? Will it be zero dot zero dot zero, or will it be two dot zero dot zero? Of course, zero dot zero dot zero. He keep okay, asking. Okay. Hey, but still, what happened? I can imagine if you have a one thousand client. Take example of this diagram. This one. Take example of this guy. If you have one thousand, if you have one thousand client, right? and all this 1000 clients shut down their pc still what happened router is keep sending the query right hey is there any one wants to receive the multicast stream is there any any other person wants to receive the multicast stream is keep sending there is no mechanism that to inform this router hey don't send query packet because there is no user there is no mechanism Like this is the guy, right? Try it, try it on this is the guy, and this is another guy, right? A and B. A can if A can inform to the B, hey, don't call me. So what happened? B cannot call to the A. That's a mechanism that A can inform to the B, hey, don't call me. So B cannot call to the A, right? But what happened in IGMP version one? What happened? A and B right now communicating to each other, right? A and B is communicating to each other, and what happens? Suddenly the call got cut, right? So they are not. Uh, the call has cut. So after that, what happened? B is keep calling to the A, keep calling, keep calling. A is not responding, right? A is not responding, but B is keep calling. That's I J B version one. If A is not interested, then why B is calling to me? Same thing. If the client is not interested to receive the multicast stream, why the router is sending the stream? That is the issue with the IGMP version one. This is the reason why IGMP version one is not enabled by default. In IGMP version one, we only have a two packet. One we have a query packet. One we have a report packet. Only two packets are there. That's why if you see this RF sheet, the first line is saying that you see this version two RF sheet saying that IGB version two allow the group membership. Group membership means what? It's client. It's talking the client, right? Terminates quickly to the reported to the I have with multicast group. I have a mechanism, right? I have a mechanism in the version two to send leave group. That is not possible in the version. That's why nowadays we are not using the version one. Version one is totally obsolete protocol. We are not using. And even the corporation, like even the, if you go for the Cisco examination, by default this enable with the version two, and you are not allowed to change the version. See, I I think so. Your book is also not giving out the version one. So let me check it. I haven't done this multicast mapping MAC address. No worry. So this is how the uh, the sign guys in it uh, before a host can receive a multicast stream, a multicast application that I saw told you that software must be installed and running on the host side. 
the process of installing and running the multicast application is referred to the launching our application or joining the multicast group right This guy is from the IGMP version RFC 112. Let's have a look at the IGMP RFC 112. Host, and uh, I think so. Any IGMP is there? 9089. Yep. I think there is one. So 9089, this is the same guy, the day, strip dating, right? The same person they have introduced the concept of multicasting, right? In the 1989, the IGMP was used, right? So this guy, if you have a look, the The structure of this packet. You can see the version one. This is the version one header of the IGMP, right? I just have a two message tag. Curie, before that's it. Version, you know, the first with the version, you know, the version is which version you are going to use the IGMP type. We just need to use like uh, what message are there and use me. This is the reserve for the future reference, right? Check some that's going to be perform the, you know, uh, check some of the error detection, right? And the group address of the, uh, if you if the query packet is there in the query packet, the group address will be 0 or 0 or 0. Sorry. Ah, uh, yes, 0 or 0 or 0 or 0. And the report packet, the group address will be put that particular multicast at first. What is the type field, sir, again? Type field is going to do the master type. Uh -huh. So host membership, host is uh, the one, the client or the server? Yeah, server? host means client. Okay. Uh, so the client is generating the query packet or? Of course, client will, no, doubter will join the query packet. So then it, why is it telling host membership query? A host means what a router can also behave like a host as well as buddy. And the client is also known as a host. Achha, okay. Because that, that is interchangeable, yeah. right? That's why I'm asking yeah. why is it? Yes, yes. So that's the reason why they have introduced the IGMP version two. So in your book, they are just giving the like this RFC number is there. And they, I think so they are not including the why, you know, IGMPS LAN antenna for the router. Of course, that's the protocol. Your TTL is one. That's fine. Okay. So directly they are giving the IGMP version two, not the version one, right? So you don't have version one information in the book, right? But the version one, we are why we are not using just because of the leaf. Just because of the leaf. In the version two, we have a lead mechanism. We have a multiple thing, not the lead mechanism. Multiple things are there, right? In the version two. But version one and version two is a backward compatible. See, this guy, same thing is saying IGMP is automatically enable on uh, enable when the multicast routing and PIM are configured on the router. So I just enable the PIM and IGMP will be enabled. And you can any you can change the version uh, based on the interface basis. Version two is our default version. After enabling the IGMP, and IGMP like uh, another thing is that uh, the switches right switches does not have any idea with the IGMP. Switches does not have any idea because IGMP is a layer three protocol, right? So layer two switch are not on because IGMP is used between host and router communications.
So maybe you have a question like how the Mac address learning process will happen. That we'll discuss later on, not now. Okay, that's a different topic. Used for the communication between the host and others. For the layer two, of this, these are the layer three protocol. ICMP is the layer three protocol. They are not going to do with the layer two. For the layer two, you need to do the CGMP, IGMP snooping, root for group management protocol. That's go for the layer two. That's we'll discuss the after the IGMP. But IGMP is only going to deal with the host and our client and auto. Switch, no idea. Only this guy. IGMP. All clear, guys. Any questions? Anyone? Uh, yes, I have. Yes. Uh, you given that uh, two uh, two twenty four zero dot zero and two two IP will be there. One two the uh, two is there. Two is used for the leave, right? Whenever the person will send the leave message, I'll let you know in the IGMP version two when the two comes in the picture, right? Two two four zero zero. We have seen this concept, right? And two comes in the picture of the. Okay. Okay, good. Miss, you will explain this part. Yeah. Okay, fine. Anyone else? Why, in? why the TTL is one in IGMP? Because of the this is the uh, uh this is the LAN protocol, not the WAN side. This packet is not routed. No, I don't understand. Okay. Does that mean it's an L2 protocol, sir? IGMP? Yes, sir. It's not an L2 protocol, it's a layer 3 protocol. L2 is a, like you know, you, you can use for the that's why the switches is not going to understand the IGMP. The switches is not going to do the you know, the thing is that try to understand this part is a little bit. See, when the IGMP is sending the packet, the source MAC address is what? A distance MAC address is what? Multicast MAC address. When the packet is coming to the switch, what is the default behavior of the switch? They will learn the source MAC address, right? A destination is what multicast switch does not understand multicast. It will flood it, flood it, flood it, flood it, flood it. So the IGMP is between the client and router. The TTL is one just because of this packet is not routed. This packet is not routed. The LAN protocol, same like EHGRP, the same concept. The good question, right? The same concept like EHGRP. Right, OSPF. Just two guys. Why the TTL is one have them? Because this packet is not routed. The same thing. IGMP TTL is one. This packet is not routed. This packet is not routed. So maybe you have a question. Hey, law. I don't know. You have idea or not? Twelve or zero as well. And the TTL is two, right? And the 15 or zero was in TTL is one for EHGRP. Find it why. And find it why this TTL is two in the 12 or zero as well. Just because of the TTL one, this packet is not routed. This is the reason. They went there clear now. It means all those protocols which are having the um, multicast IP, they, 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 they have only TTL uh, one and they cannot. Yes. Multicast protocol. They are multicast protocol. Multiple things is there. PIM is also there. No, no. Uh, my question is that normal routing protocols are there, which having RIP a... has a two. RIP has a two. That's why I'm telling you. Know, find the answer why the TTL two is there for the EHRP and for the RIP. But OSP has a one. But again, EHRP fifteen dot zero as well. TTL is one. So, so what exactly the reason? That's I'm asking to find it. I even I asked the same question in the routing protocol as well as. When the, I taught you the EHRP part, I showed you this thing, but nobody has found it. Sir, I'm getting confused. Jab aap do router ke beech mein, when you're enabling EHRP or OSPF, right? So mm -hmm. they kind of join that multicast group. If it's EHRP, they join 224. Yeah, they're joining. Yes, Correct. Yes. So they're joining the 224. So even IP multicast routing is not enabled on the routers at that point. In yes, time, right? yes, yes, yes. So then if, if I want to 
I'm not in. I'm not basically using IGMP or anything at that time. I'm just saying right. router EHRP one, and I'm yeah. basically assigning an IP address. So how does router one and router two understand that they have to, uh, you know, uh, those particular IP addresses are joining the same multicast group? Just just with that router EIGRP one when you're enabling the same. One minute. R one is there. Okay. R two is there. Try to understand. What is the meaning of routing? To route the packet. Correct. Right. right. Okay. What is the meaning of TTL one? One hop. One hop. When I G when E I G R P, I'm enabling this particular interface, right? This particular interface, this particular. I'm enabling the E I G R P. What happened? R one send the packet. So this guy, if you take example, I'm not enabling the EHRP, not enabling EHRP, EHRP is there, right? So what happened? This guy is sending the packet on which multicast address? Dot 10, right? What is the TTL is there? One. So when this guy sends the packet to the router number two, does router number two have a uh, multicast group is there? Dot 10? No. So what router will do? Will this guy accept this packet? Of course not. Of course not. Right. Even it's packet okay. because there is no group. Right. If you are not a part of WhatsApp group, how can you receive the message? If you are not a part of WhatsApp group, how can you receive the message? So R two is not a part of the dot ten group. How they will receive the packet? How they are going to entertain the? As I told you, the in the beginning of the classes, the permanent group two two four dot zero zero zero. And two two four dot one or two two four dot zero dot one dot zero. These two address are not routable, according to the INM. And actually, this is not routable. So if I'm going to enable the EHRP on this particular interface, what happened? Now this guy will join the group. So when this guy send the packet, they will respond it. They will refresh the hold on time, right? But it's not going to route the packet just because of the two things. One is the teacher is one. Second thing is what multicast routing is not there. No, my question is so basically now R two is joining the two twenty four dot zero dot zero dot ten and R one is also joining that multicast two twenty four dot zero dot zero dot ten. Yeah. They so now, it. so now once they join it, so imagine there is one more router, right? So how does R one or R two or through that interface they come to know that they have to be neighbors? Is, because they receive the packet on that particular interface, that's why they come to know that they have to send. Of course, them. they receive the packet on that particular interface, and they match the neighborship criteria, and that's why they form the neighborship. So imagine if R three is there, it's not connected to any of these routers, nor neither R one nor R two, right? So now if you just Absolutely. enable an EIGRP, it it doesn't send that. It still uh, what do enabling you enabling the EIGRP or one not? Does R3 does they have any interface? No, it doesn't have any interface. What I'm trying so to say is enabling now, the EIGRP. One minute. Now one minute. Your basic is a little bit confusing. Enabling the EIGRP on this router. Will the EIGRP work over there? Yeah, it will not work because it's just joining the multicast group. But they will not cannot... join the multicast group. Uh, Swami, never join the multicast group. What? How, what is the meaning of joining? The, what command? Okay. What command okay. we are using the interface to join the group? Network statement. Right. right. We have okay. an interface over there. No. So they will never join the group. Enabling the EHRP. Enabling the EHRP has two one command. Router EHRP number one. That's it. This is the command that enable the EHRP. Joining the group. What we are doing? Network statement. Got it. Oh, yeah, missed that part. Sorry, my bad. Any other questions, anyone? Uh, this one one dot one dot one dot two should be a PC, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. The two should be. Uh, a PC, right? PC. P PC. Yeah, two is PC. PC. Uh, but just now you enable uh, reporting on the uh, interface zero zero zero, right? Uh, but. I haven't enabled. Have... I haven't enabled the PNG uh, over there. Oh. Okay. Nothing is there. Only IGMP is there. Only I, no no protocol. 
uh, if it is PC, how can we enable the uh, IGMB uh, on the F00? This is uh, this is the actually router. I change the uh, icon of this PC. Okay. I change just icon. This is actually router. In the background, this is router. I change just icon only. Router, okay. So if it is a PC, it will be on. Yeah, yeah. If it is a PC, then you have to install the application, the soft application that is the multicast applications. Oh, application. Okay, okay. It should enable similar type of uh, IGMB in the PC also. Yeah, you can you can install the application and on a, that application you just need to put the multicast address which group you want to join. Okay. Anyone else? Any questions? No. All good guys. So this is how the IGMP version one is working. Okay. And uh, quick, uh, just find this uh, this uh, like a question, right? Uh, like why the TTL two is there in EHGRP twelve or version, but not in the fifteen or TTL two is only present the twelve or zero. Fifteen or TTL one. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Just give me the logical answer, right? Like how the like they are calling the package. It's not like that. Just give me the logical answer. In the newer as well as in the 15 or Juras, you have a EHRP TTL one. OSPEP has a one. So no need to uh, cross the router, right? Like, just the neighbor. So one needs to be enough. Right? So why they put the TTL in the EHRP number two? Sorry, 12 or just two. Mm. If you see, two so version include iOS, right? 12.4, right? Go on a router, click the HRP, HRP hello. See the detail, two is there for the HRP. 12 or July's version. If you go for the 15 or July's version, one will be there. Is it because of the router ID? Yeah, no, 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 no. It's not because of the. If you see router one, I'll take an example of the two, two guys. Not because of the router ID. Fifteen or zero as And uh, connect the cables. Hmm. Capture the link. Start. And so. Do so version. No, it's fifteen or zero. And if you see the wire shark one six. Hello packet. Yes, yes, come on. Come on, come on. Yes. Same protocol. E H R P. E H R P. Fine, then, sir, guys. So hope I'm clear to all of you, what is the basic uh, IGMP protocol and what is the use of IGMP? Who's to, or uh, like, you know, the router communications, not the switch. All good guys. So see you on the Monday. Bye-bye. Happy weekend to everyone. So in the weekend, you have a good time to recap your all multicasting and have a look at this part. This detail comes up. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
Cheat is Arab Singh. Okay. Bye-bye, guys.